Are you an international medical graduate dreaming to practice medicine in Canada? Well, before residency, there is one big hurdle. The NAC Objective Structured Clinical Examination. But don't worry, in this video, I'll break down everything. What's in the exam, the best study resources and a 6 weeks study plan to pass it on your first attempt. So without any further delay, let's start today's video. Alright, let's start with the basics. What is NAC OSCE? It stands for National Assessment Collaboration Objective Structured Clinical Examination. It's a one-day exam that assesses your clinical skills and communication abilities. Super important for residency in Canada. You must take this exam before applying for residency in Canada. So who needs to take it? All international medical graduates planning to apply for residency in Canada. You must have an MCC approved medical degree. Passing MCC QE1 is strongly recommended before taking the NAC OSCE exam as both are necessary for full licensure in Canada. And now let's talk about how NAC OSCE exam works. It's a one day in person exam held at various Canadian exam centers. You'll go through 12 OSCE stations and each one tests history taking, physical exam techniques, diagnosis and management, communication and empathy. I know what you're thinking. How does it work? Let me explain to you. You will walk into a mock clinic setting. You'll get two minutes to read the patient scenarios outside the room. You then have seven to ten minutes side to perform the task. There's a patient and examiner in the room grading you. Let me give you a tip. It's not just medical knowledge. Your professionalism and communication are key. NAC exam is conducted twice a year in September and May. And the exam fee for the exam is around 3000 Canadian dollars, which is around 1.8 lakhs Indian rupees. All right, let's talk about the best resources to help you pass the NAC OSCE examination on your first attempt. First, self practice with a study partner. Get a friend and role play OSCE cases daily. This helps with time management and confidence. Second, Torrento Notes covers all common OSCE scenarios and detailed clinical approach plus checklists. NAC OSCE prep courses just in case if you need extra help. The link is in the description for all the courses I thought will be beneficial for you. Now let's talk about strategy. How do you plan efficiently? Here's a step-by-step -step efficient study plan for you. Week 1st and 2nd Master the OSCE format Study common cases from Toronto notes Focus on history taking techniques and clinical checklists Week 3rd and 4th Start practicing with your partner daily Record yourself to analyze communication skills Week 5 Full length mock OSCE exam Work on timing and confidence and week 6 revise weak areas last minute revision of patient approach frameworks let me give you a simple tip practice in front of a mirror or record yourself you'll instantly see where you're lacking and where you need to improve and now let us talk about common mistakes international medical graduates make while preparing for the NAC exam first focusing too much on medical knowledge OSCE exam is not just about what you know, but how you apply it. It's all about communication. Second, ignoring time management. Practice answering within 7 to 10 minutes. Don't rush or get stuck. Third, forgetting empathy and active listening. Canadian medical exam emphasize on patient-centered care. Show kindness. And that's it for the video guys. I hope you liked it and found it informative. And if you did, please press that like button and subscribe to our channel for more such content ahead. If you have any doubts regarding the video, please do ask us on the comments below and we'll be very happy answering that. I'll be seeing you in the next one. Till then, bye-bye.